Hey guys, how are you doing today? I wanted to talk to you about a really cool subject, and it is the subject of Edgar Cayce's spiritual food. Now, Edgar Cayce was a famous American intuitive medium and channel, and he was also called the father of holistic medicine because throughout his channeled readings, he brought forth many natural remedies that still can cure and align the physical body to this day. I really like Edgar Cayce and have always resonated with Cayce because not only was he largely accurate, but he was so heart-led, and he poured out his entire life for service to people and service to spirit. And he really just gave and gave and gave until he could no longer in his life give anymore. He had a lot of integrity, and I really like that about Casey. If you haven't checked out any of the writings of Casey or the information that's out there about Edgar Casey, C-A-Y-C-E, I would really recommend that you do that because I think that he's somebody that we can all truly benefit from and learn from. But Edgar Cayce had a dream one night in which he was approached by an Egyptian mummy and this mummy gave him a recipe and the mummy also said that this food would be good for the edification of the spiritual energies and faculties and for the aligning of the body. Now in subsequent readings Edgar Cayce sort of pursued the actual vision and validations came through that yes this recipe could actually help the digestive system and the spiritual faculties and abilities. And so that's exciting. Any sort of substance that I can incorporate into my diet or into my life that will make me more physically well and also increase my awareness and my sensitivities and abilities, I'm going to be interested in that. And you're probably interested in that as well. So what was the recipe? The recipe that the Egyptian mummy gave to Edgar Cayce in dream state consisted of one cup of black figs, one cup of dates, like pitted medjool dates, and half a cup of cornmeal. Now, if you're like me, you're probably saying, wait a minute, the Egyptians, they didn't eat corn. That's something that was from North America, and they didn't have access to that. But actually, Egyptians referred to certain grains as corn or cornmeal, just like the English did. And for the English, I think that was cornmeal was oats. For the Egyptians, it was barley. But at the time that Edgar Cayce received this vision, we're talking the late 1930s, corn was popular all over the planet. And so I do think the vision pertains to modern people. So here's what I've done. I've tried the recipe with cornmeal and I've tried it with barley flakes and everything I use for this spiritual food is organic. Back in Casey's day he didn't have to worry about GMOs and you know chemicals and pesticides all over his food but in this day and age we really have to be conscious about whether we're eating clean organic non-GMO foods. So get organic cornmeal which is also polenta, get organic barley or barley flakes, get organic dates, get organic fish. And what you do is you simply put the one cup of figs, one cup of dates, and half a cup of the cornmeal into a pot with about two to three cups of water and you cook it down into a mush. This takes anywhere from 20 to 30 minutes. It is very, very sweet. It kind of turns into a paste of sorts. And then you put this in a Tupperware, put this in a glass jar, and you put it in your refrigerator. And every night before you go to bed, have at least a tablespoon of the spiritual food. And now again, it's very sweet. Um, I find it to be like cloyingly sweet, but it's not objectionable. I mean, it's certainly tolerable. And you take one tablespoon a night, and if you want, you can take up to one to three tablespoons a day. Now, I have noticed in my experience that it really does bring the digestive tract into alignment. And as many of you know, our digestive system is the cornerstone of our health. I mean, if our digestive tract is out of alignment or if it's mired down with muck and guck, then we're not healthy overall. So the better the digestive tract is running, the more cleaned out we are, the better we are physically overall. In addition to making us regular and cleaning us out and keeping us in a good rhythm, it also does in a subtle way increase the spiritual abilities. Now this can manifest um, in a variety of ways and it's typically based on what you need right now to go to the next level. So in my life I've noticed uh, just by using it for weeks on 
one end, I have increased sensitivity. So I'm very sensitive to energies. I'm clairvoyant. I'm clairaudient. And those abilities seemed to be emphasized for me. Other people have reported having more vivid dreams, better dream recall, things like that. So I really encourage you, if you're interested in transforming and developing and enlightening, check out Edgar Casey just generally because he's very cool. And also think about incorporating spiritual food into your day-to-day -day life because I do think it can enhance you uh, for the better and really sort of bring you to the next level in your spirituality.